everybody, Nova here from GetPharmacyAdvice.com. I thought I'd go over a drug interaction that is out there, it's pretty well known, however, you might not really know the nitty gritty behind it, and that is statins of grapefruit juice. Now, we all know what grapefruit juice is, so a little bit about statins are they are a class of medications that help um, decrease your cholesterol levels. And the brand names of these that are available out there are Crestor and Lipitor. That some of the generics are Lovastatin, Pravastatin, Simvastatin, and Fluvastatin. I've, I've, I've never actually seen that one. <laughs> it's a spent, so. But it's out there and available. So the, those are the ones. And what happens is that they go into your system and help decrease the cholesterol that we naturally make. Um, so a side note here is the best time to take these if you're on one of these medications is at bedtime because that's when we make most of our own cholesterol that our body makes. It's going to be at bedtime. So that's the best time to take those medications. Um, back from the side note, uh, let's see. So they get in there and oh, one of the medica one of the enzymes that help break down the medication is CYP450. Now the reason this is important is because if you take grapefruit juice, grapefruit juice will inhibit the CYP450 which means that you'll have an increase in statin medication that's in your system, more than you should. Now, at first, you might say, like, great, so I make less cholesterol, and my cholesterol level goes down more quickly, um, which could be true. However, what we're really concerned about are that your side effects will increase. And one specific side effect that we're very concerned about is rhabdomyolysis. Now, if you're on a statin, I hope that you know about rhabdomyolysis. Um, uh, it might have been called myalgia or muscle ache. And what, how you would know if you have rhabdo is like both of your upper arms or both your thighs, major muscles would really start to ache and hurt. Um, side note on this is if that ever does happen to you, you want to stop taking your cholesterol medication right away. Um, just don't take any more and contact your doctor because uh, the statins are one of those medications that it's not going to hurt you. Even if you think that you hurt your, you're having rhabdo and really they're like, no, you just, you know, hurt your arm from throwing baseball too much. I don't know. But uh, it's okay because you can just restart back up on them. Um, but you do. If you think you're having rhabdo, stop the medication and call the doctor right away. So back from my side note. I feel like I'm going to have a lot of side notes on this one. Back from my side note. The reason we're concerned about the rhabdo is the muscle actually isn't just aching. It's breaking down. So you have a breakdown of muscle, which is bad on its own. But then it can actually lead to kidney failure, which is what we're really trying to avoid. Um, now, don't be scared. If you're on a statin, everything's going fine. Don't like go, I have to get off of this thing, because rhabdo happens in less than 0.1% of the people that are taking the medication. However, if you take grapefruit with your medication, you're increasing that risk. So that's what you want to be concerned about. Um, let's see. Some of the statins actually are okay to take. I wrote them down because I get. I forget them all the time. Pravastatin, fluvastatin, and rosuvastatin. Rosuvastatin is the Crestor. Those three do not interact with grapefruit juice. So if you're on those three, you're good with the grapefruit juice. Um, all the other ones, though, those are the ones you really need to be concerned about. So um, also what you need to know is that grapefruit juice, that what happens, it can stay into your system. The special enzymes that get in there can stay in there for up to three days. So if you, it's not that you just take it two hours after, you know, if you drink a grape juice, grapefruit juice and then you take your statin two hours later, you're still not safe. So um, it can stay. So if you take, drink your grapefruit juice Sunday morning, then it's really not out of your system until Wednesday morning. And that's why, really, if you're taking statins, you should just avoid grapefruit juice altogether. Um, if you already are taking statins with grapefruit juice, though, you want to talk to your doctor first before you stop drinking the grapefruit juice because what happens is that your body's used to this level and all of a sudden it will drop if, once you stop taking the grapefruit juice. I know this is a bit confusing and I threw a lot of side notes in there. Um, what's funny is when I first heard about this reaction and uh, this interaction in pharmacy school, I was like, grapefruit juice, gross, who drinks it anyway? But then I find out there are a lot of grapefruit drinkers out there. Um, so what, do you, what can you drink instead? It's pretty much like orange juice. Orange juice is okay. Which, I love orange juice, but I find that grapefruit juice people and orange juice people are totally different people. <laughs> grapefruit juice people are like, orange juice gross. So um, that's one. Another little side note is that um, limes can also cause this issue. However, we just don't take in enough lime juice on average, who knows, um, on average to make any difference. So you're safe with your, like, mojito or your little lime spritzers. You're good with that. Um, so just a quick wrap up. Do not take grapefruit juice if you're on a statin because it can increase your risk of rhabdomyolysis, which is a breakdown of muscle pain. 
Um, I'm sorry, breakdown of muscle, and it causes pain. <laughs> uh, and if you're already on a statin and taking grapefruit juice regularly, you want to talk to your doctor before you change anything. Okay, I know that's a little bit confusing, but now you know the details. And you also know that grapefruit juice can stay up into your system for up to three days, which who knew, right? Um, if you have any questions, any comments, any stories, please uh, leave me an email at nova at getpharmacyadvice.com or leave a comment. Uh, I'd love to hear your stories. I'd love to hear questions, anything like that. Okay? I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>